I don't want to say there's ever a bad reason to hike 800 miles, but it's no. interesting to me that they're admitting like, yeah, I'm out here because I there's nothing else for me to do. Right. I have no. I I'm lost. I have nothing else. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And that's I guess that's who we're talking about here. That's the, and and it's not even that like, that's a person that no, you that can happen to somebody. Like I think that you can get caught up in it, mm -hmm. right? Because it is so intoxicating. Because it is so you feel so like you're a part of something. And maybe for people that have never really been a part of something or always felt like they couldn't connect, it's something that like for the first time I've heard tons of people say that. I mean, it's it's the reason why a lot of people continue to hike. I've heard so many people like. The reason that I, I continue through hike there, I'm a serial through hiker is because it's the only place that I can feel connected to people. And it's like, mm, yeah. Well, right. and I don't know, maybe like that is the only place they can feel connected to people. And I do, I do think that's valid, but you, you, it still doesn't mean you can't try to expand yourself right. as a person. And if being connected to people is, you know, getting hammered in trail towns and taking advantage of trail angels and just, yeah. just kind of like partying your way through every season. Like, yeah. you know, what are you doing? Yeah. It's, um, you know, kind of, as I said earlier in the episode, I kind of wanted to talk about it with you and kind of wanted to put it out here on, on the podcast, um, for anyone that watches my videos and follows on Instagram and all that stuff. You know, whenever I, whenever I was out on the CDT last year, um, I was going through a lot of mental stuff, um, as we all do. Right? We all have our own problems and things we need to go through. And the CDT for me, I've, I've kind of, I feel like I've been a little cryptic about it, but I've said a lot of things like I was going out there to look for closure or I was going out there to really think through some stuff. A lot of people were wondering why I didn't post videos while I was out there. For the first time ever, I did a through hike and I didn't mm. put out videos while I was on the trail, right? And then it must I got mean off you cheated, trail. right? Yeah, yeah, it must mean I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I hitched the whole thing. Um, you know, when I got off the trail, I still wasn't ready to dive into those and make videos. And I had said in a couple things, I had said probably on Instagram, and I'd said maybe in a, a live Q&A that I did on, on YouTube that like I was taking a break from that for my own mental health. So I kind of wanted to dive in a little bit to like, another side of the mental health aspect of it and i mean i guess it's kind of the other side it's it it i think it, it just bleeds into what we're talking about mm -hmm. but i just like some people can get got very wrapped into long distance hiking i mean obviously it's it was my last seven years of my life it's i won't say it's all that i did because i've always tried to be a pretty multi-dimensional person i do a yeah. lot of bike touring I, yeah you know I, I i do a lot of other things but it became my identity yeah. so much so where, I mean, obviously that's what people know me for and that's what people know me as. And it's something that I was really struggling with in 2019, 2000 or not 19, 20 and 21 was like, I wanted to do other things. I wanted to start like making films. I wanted to start this other company. I wanted mm -hmm. to get into bike touring. I wanted to do all these things and I almost felt like, I wasn't, I wasn't allowed to, and not by anybody yeah. in particular, but so much so. And here you go. I'm going to drop a bomb. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to do it. Okay. I became my trail name. I became Darwin. And that's not my name. My name is... Darwin.